What's up guys? Uh, back again with another impromptu video because uh, one of my friends who's the cameraman for this video wanted me to just do a quick explanation on the Porsche range because it's quite complicated like this Carrera and GT and GTS and all these things so let's get started. So at the moment in the Porsche range the most highest selling cars are the SUVs the Macan and the Cayenne. Uh, most of the sales come from the Cayenne. Um, I think more than 50% of the sales come from the SUVs, but we're not going to talk too much about that because I don't know too much about that. Then the smaller sports cars are the, the Cayman and the Boxster. I think they're based on the similar platform. The Cayman is more of a closed top, Boxster is an open top. Uh, the newer Boxsters are all turbocharged. They actually come with a 2 litre turbocharged engine. But they're quite fast because the car is quite light and PDK gearbox, one of the best dual clutch gearbox uh, in the industry. Then moving on to the 911 range, this is this is what you think of when you think of Porsche. So your base model of the 911 is the Carrera. Then from there you get the um, the Carrera, the normal regular Carrera, which is taking a like two wheel drive. You get this, so that's the two, and you get the two S as well, and then four and the four S. So the four and the four S are four wheel drive, and the S is just a higher level of of uh, like spec. Probably I think it gets better brakes and a slight increase in power. Um, yeah, these ones. I know the four uh, they generally with a three liter twin turbo setup. Quite, they are quite fast. Then you got your turbo range. Uh, these cars are not that popular, they're quite expensive. And under the turbo range, you got your regular turbo and then um, you have your turbo S. These come with a 3.8 liter um, twin turbo. Yeah, so these are 3 liters, these are 3.8 liter twin turbo, and they both um, four wheel drive really fast. I know the Turbo S, I think, goes from 0 to 60 in around 2.5 to 0.3 seconds. So, they're quite understated cars, but they can keep up with super nice. Then you've got your GT range. The GT range is basically the more track orientated cars. So, you have your GT3, which is more of a road, a race car for the street. So, something that you can date more often. But the 4 litre naturally aspirated. Um, flat 6 revs all the way to 9000 rpm. I'll put a clip of that now. Then we've got the GT3 RS, which is basically builds on the GT3, so, yeah, same, similar engine, slightly more power, but you've got more aero at the back, so it's really made for the track. Um, this particular car only comes in the PDK, so the new GT3 can get in the manual, so it's really nice though. I prefer taking a manual GT3 over GT3 RS, but uh, you can start, start, I'll start a GoFundMe page and you can start funding me for that. Um, then you have the GT, oh sorry, before we got to GT3 and GT3, I jumped the gun. You had the GTS, which is the baby in the GT range. Basically, same engine as the Carrera, 3 litre twin turbo, but the bigger turbo, so they make more power. And the GTS, basically, you can make a GTS out of a 4S if you just tick the right option boxes. But the GTS comes as like a combo already, so you don't have to worry. Porsche decides that, you know, these are the best options, so they put it in for you. And, yeah. Um, then we got the GT2 RS, which is currently Porsche's fastest car. It takes the same engine from the base engine, the 3.8 litre from the turbo, but there's like revised turbo work on this, like variable geometry turbos. Makes around, I think, I'm not sure. 700 horsepower, it's like 500 and something kilowatts. Um, 
rear wheel drive. So these cars, I'm not sure about the GTS, but these, these cars are all rear wheel drive. GT2 RS is currently, the fa was the fastest car on the Nürburgring, but the record has recently been broken by the Lamborghini Aventador. Uh, yeah, I think that is it. Yeah, so that is just an impromptu video. I probably made a few mistakes, but I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you did, leave a like and subscribe. I'm almost maybe about a few subscribers away from 100, maybe more than a few. But uh, yeah, hope you enjoy this video. <laughs> Something different. Maybe we'll start the series later on in the year called maybe a roadside tat where we can give some information, informative videos like this. Uh, and I'll definitely involve my friends that are behind the camera in those videos so you'll meet them. Maybe at a 100 subscribers, we'll do a face reveal for my friends. Uh, until next time, 